Hello and welcome to this short video explaining the Northern Ireland Judicial Appointments Commission's judicial profile. The judicial profile is used to assess and select applicants for judicial roles in Northern Ireland. It has come about through a review conducted in collaboration with senior judicial office holders and professional bodies. This ensured that their views and those of practitioners were taken into account. Following the consultation, NIJAC concluded that a new profile should be adopted. It is a flexible profile, which is reflective of how judicial roles are expected to function now and into the future. Put simply, the new judicial profile is an overall framework which provides a picture of what is required to succeed in judicial office. The framework includes two overarching areas skills and attributes, which are what judicial office holders should do well and their typical characteristic features, and behaviours and effectiveness, which is how judicial office holders should act and how successful they are at getting things done. Within each of the overarching areas, there are three criteria. Under skills and attributes, the criteria are knowledge and expertise, intellectual capacity and exercising judgment. Under behaviours and effectiveness, the criteria are collaborating effectively, communicating effectively and managing effectively. Under each of these criteria are a series of elements which describe what is measured to determine merit. For example, one such element under communicating effectively may be that they ask concise, relevant and readily understood questions. This framework allows flexibility so that individual selection committees can tailor the judicial profile according to each judicial office. This is achieved through an in-depth and robust analysis of each role, creating a unique person specification for each. The person specification is determined for each role by the selection committee. Each selection committee uses the judicial profile to make its own determination as to the criteria against which merit is measured. As well as the judicial profile, there are two other significant components to that process. Firstly, the job description, which details the responsibilities of the office holder. Secondly, the co-opted member, typically the presiding officer at the relevant tier or a colleague nominated by them. This person provides further detailed understanding of the role. As you can see from the graphic on screen, this means an effective and in-depth analysis of each job, creating a unique person specification for each individual role. The person specification tells applicants the specific skills, attributes, behaviours and aspects of effectiveness which are sought through the assessment and selection process. The person specification does this within each criteria through the identification of two or three elements which describe what is required. In analysing the job description, priority is given to the activities within it on the basis of how important each activity is, how often it occurs and how challenging it is for the office holder. The requirements in any single recruitment scheme will share many similarities with other judicial roles, but no two person specifications may be the same. This means that those applying for different roles should exercise caution if using a previous application when applying for other judicial offices. For example, under the criteria communicating effectively, we may assess applicants on their ability to express and succinctly explain complex matters. However, an example which is appropriate for one judicial office may not be sufficient to address that same element for a different judicial office which deals with more complex and varied issues. For senior judicial roles, the person specification may include all six criteria, with a minimum of three elements within each criteria. For lay and medical roles, it is suggested that only three or four of the criteria may appear, and only two elements may appear under each criteria. In effect, this means that, broadly speaking, the more senior the role, the more complex the person specification will be.
The assessment and selection process is designed to enable NIJAC selection committees to select people for judicial office on a basis of merit, having considered their eligibility, suitability and integrity against the person specification. NIJAC employs a range of assessment methods to assess applicants against the person specification, and these are designed to assess the relevant criteria. Individual selection committees have discretion in choosing which assessment methods to use. Each method adheres to guidelines affecting its design and intended use. The designers are experienced judicial office holders with knowledge or direct experience of the judicial roles concerned. Assessment methods are all subject to agreement by the selection committee and in many cases undergo third party validation in advance of their use. Further video pieces and documentation detailing assessment methods are available on the NIJAC website. I hope you have found this video useful in gaining a broad understanding of the judicial profile and person specification. This approach allows flexibility so that each selection committee can use the judicial profile framework to create a unique person specification, reflective of the judicial role under recruitment. The specification for each judicial role is confirmed in the respective applicant information booklet. For further information on the judicial profile and person specification and how it affects assessment and selection for judicial office in Northern Ireland, please visit the NIJAC website at www nijac.gov.uk Thank you for watching.